to the 80s, so, I mean, what was all that about? I love lots of stuff we did, but I mm. kind of wish, in a way, I'd have been making records as, uh, as good as Prince. What, you mean the production values or...? Just the records, just the art mm. of a thing, you know. Mm. It never looks, all the talent. I think we, I had the height. <laughs> I think yeah, but we, I think we're always hankering after something that we can't quite reach. And I think there's a lot of people who would, you know, love to make records like you did. I think, you know, certainly. First time I, I saw you was when Alan invited me to the living room, and I came along when it was just by Tottenham Court Road, mm. and you were supporting the Jasmine Minx. Right. Don't you remember those times? Don't, I remember the time, remember mm. the place, don't remember supporting the Jasmine Minx. Don't you? No. All right. <laughs> That's but you would just do remember. gigs every week at that yeah, point, yeah, yeah, wouldn't no, you? Yeah, like yeah, supporting yeah, anyone yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. and then headlining pretty soon yeah. after, weren't you? I remember that, I remember coming in and, and I'd heard of the name Jasmine Minx, so it was quite an interesting name, but when I saw the loft, it like I thought, oh, this is it. This is, you know, it's it was the first time I'd seen that kind of songwriting in a really in a new band that was you know right. playing around London. Yeah. Have you seen the creation film? Yeah. Because you were in it. Yeah. You were featured quite a lot, I think. Um, yeah, it was kind of yeah, we did all right. I mean, we, I mean, yeah, we were. I guess we were quite important as part of it, which was nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a bit. I think it was. I think it was a good. I, I, Two things. One mm. thing I thought it was a little bit sort of the drugs for breakfast thing was a bit boring. Right. But yeah. at the same time, that's a good handle to, to yeah. hang on. So that's yeah. fine. Um, and the other thing that I did quite like was that mm. everybody came out of it as quite decent people, which I thought was pretty cool. Did you go to the premiere of it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. It was pretty scary seeing yourself that big, mm. thinking, "Please don't say anything stupid." You know. I mean, I, I think I, I think I said it in the film, but it's true. Oh, yeah. You always thought, "God, I wish we were the real thing." But actually, when you when you see the film one place, you're like, "God." bunch of mm. what a bunch of fantastic mm. idiots everybody was yeah. which I thought was brilliant <laughs> I remember thinking if I mm. if I can get in the, the number 27 in the indie charts yeah. I'll, I'll have made it I thought and it was 22 the yeah, 27, 22. I, 27 I, wherever yeah. it was Wives mm. the Rain went about four places higher and I thought that's it that's I've it. done it that was your fatal mistake wasn't it <laughs> absolutely you yeah. should have had a little bit of foresight <laughs> but I think that was in a way the fatal mm. mistake of all the early creation books because didn't, nobody ever thought we were actually going to you know do anything and then uh, and then of course and then you mm. have a band like Oasis playing yeah. Nebworth with all the stagecraft of the servants do you know what I mean yeah <laughs> they, they, they got everything they live for the servants do you know what I mean it's remarkable well, isn't not, it it's not we, fair on Liam but yeah they just stood no, there yeah, and but sang, we, you know, we were yeah. criticised for so many years for just standing there and delivering our songs and then in the end yeah you know it, yeah. it's two nights at Nebworth yeah <laughs> yeah I'm going to do a record for Shania Twain. That's my new idea. Wow! It's called Songs for Shania. I'm going to write a whole album oh, I love of that country idea. hits, contemporary mm. country hits. I've been listening to people like uh, Steve Gillette, um, Clive Gregson, who used to produce Weather Prophet sessions, you know, and uh, Nick Lowe, and all those kind of proper grown-up yeah. Nashville songwriters. Yeah. And I'm going to make my fortune. Wow! Then I really am going to retire. That's a really good. That is a That's really good plan. idea. That so you're going to release a record called "Songs for Shania Twain." Yeah. Not Songs actually Shania. given to her. Not, not actually given to her. Just, I know. I like that. I like. I. I, th I saw. And maybe a, she'll hear it somewhere along well the line. Well, I, I saw a great outsider mm. art exhibition mm. in Paris when we were playing, actually, and 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 I thought I can write this deluded record, mm. which is going to be done all probably on little organs and drum machines, and I'm going to write all these songs which are made for Shania mm. Twain to cover. <laughs> um, and, it'll be, and I'll maybe do a hand painted cover of, mm -hmm. you know, a painting of Shania Twain. Yeah, yeah, your own, it, yeah, your yeah. own portrait of yeah. Shania Twain. I, I need to listen like to some more idea. Shania Twain yeah. records because I only know the one that's the uh, yeah. video. Well, but I'll listen. That's the yeah. plan. So I, that's, I don't know any yet, so yeah. I'm going to check her out. Do, don't you think that like songwriters have been given like a new lease of life? With I was thinking in particular that Leonard Cohen to her, you know where. He's like a really old man, but yeah, yeah, you know yeah. he did the best tour of his life. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but, but his tour was fantastic because mm. he he had all his money stolen by mm. his manager, didn't he? he you know that, yeah. That, I, that, that, yes. That's why he went on tour. It's one I of know, the best things that ever happened to him. He didn't realize anybody really liked him anymore. Well, <laughs> yeah, it, that provoked him into action. Yeah. But but I think um, it, he he proved that you know you can still you can be a singer songwriter at seventy and and maybe do your best work. Yeah, that's a nice I mean, idea, in life, yeah. you know, everyone who, I mean, all the reports were that 
as a live show, it was his, it was his yeah. best ever, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, and I'm, I'm hoping that mm. that will be the case. Yeah. I'm sure it's not the case, but I'm hoping it will be. Well, you've got, <laughs> That's what I'm banking on. Yeah, we've got a long way to go before we're 70, so I just I just think that, you know, it's never over, really, for, for singer-songwriters, is it? No, well, I mean, you know, no, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, music's now kind of like, it's not, you know, no, music. Being old was like a bad thing mm. when you were a musician when I was younger, yeah. and now being old, to my great good fortune, mm. isn't the worst thing in the world, yeah. which is amazing. I mean, I always mm. feel like it kind of should be, and also people, have, if anybody listens to this, they probably mm. think, yes, it is. <laughs> you know, go away. And I kind of wonder, I sympathise with that, I, but I don't know. it isn't. People, no. people don't seem to really mind the fact that one is old no. and still making music.